Hmm. I wish they did more alien and UFO props. It'd be great to see some of that stuff. Oh crap, shouldn't have wished for that. Yes guys, hello, it is me, Halloween Dan, doing a super quick video, completely unanticipated, as most of my videos often are, because it's time to just quickly, just quickly talk about a couple of new things that have dropped only today for Costco US. But with the hope, perhaps, that some of these things might come to the UK too. Let's do this. So yeah, there I was, minding my own business today at work, hoping that I was going to at some point see something drop for UK Costco. But then, as a complete shock and surprise, it was revealed to me and others that today, some new things arrived on the US website of Costco. So of course, I headed my way over there and some of these things are quite impressive. Now, we're hoping that this is just the start of many more things to come. And of course, for us here in the UK, this isn't definitive that these things will end up on our shores. But, but there's a hope and a dream. So we start with many of the things we've already seen. We've seen lots of Disney themed stuff. There's uh, a train with lights and music. We've got some lanterns. We've got the pirate ship. There's a haunted house. It all looks really good and really cool, particularly if you like your Disney Halloween mashup stuff. But that's not why we're here. We'll just briefly mention as well, we've got the giant groundbreaking skeleton here, which there's now several versions of, uh, starting with the Party City version, and, and now there's a lot of places that are doing similar things. Costco's I've already mentioned once before, though. It is quite slightly different in that it's got red LED eyes and it's blacked out rib cage, so a little bit different, but basically the same thing. But again, that's not really what we're here for. We're here for two other props. Well, really one other prop, but we'll get to that in a minute. The first thing I want to talk about is they've announced this very simplistic little dancing tombstone skeleton. It's $79.99. It's, yeah, it's just a fun little prop that you would put by the side of your door. It's not even three foot high. It's just a nice, cool little Halloween-y object to have by your front door to welcome trick-or-treaters. I imagine it plays a myriad of different spooky songs. It says it plays music. It's clearly lit. It's got some light-up features that look pretty good. The detail on it is pretty good, and I do, I'm a bit of a sucker for these sorts of things, skeleton things. Though I have to say $79.99 is maybe a little bit steep. 50, 50 pounds, air or $50, this would have more than likely been a certainty, but 80 is is maybe just pushing it for what it actually is. But you know what? I kind of like it. But of course, that's not, again, really what we're here for. What we're really here for, and the thing that completely just shook me to my core earlier this afternoon, was the revealing of a 10-foot animated alien. Now, this is completely out of left field for Costco. I've never seen anything quite like this in a Costco before. We've all become really used to seeing phantoms and ghosts and witches and demons and reapers and that kind of stuff. And I love alien things, but an alien prop would have been the last thing I would have predicted for Costco, genuinely. I mean, I did a prediction video earlier this year and I an alien was nowhere on it. It seems that at last some of these bigger stores have started to listen to one or two within the community and that aliens are definitely a route worth going down, that the whole alien UFO genre, it's a big genre, and it should get a little bit more love and attention. We've already seen it with Giant Death Ray coming out of Spirit this year. Very impressive prop that he is with the light up features and the movement. This guy, I'm not sure he's on quite the same level. It depends what your personal preferences are for aliens. This guy, I would say, looks maybe a little bit friendlier. I don't know, you you be the judge. But he's definitely impressive, and it's very, very different for something from Costco. He's got that price tag of $249 or $250, really. It could, if it were to come to the UK, it could be cheaper, or it could be more expensive. I have no idea. 
If it was 24999 pounds, then it would be more expensive than this. So I don't know. But a lot of its features, what it tends to be showing is it's a lot of light up features. So it's got LED glowing lights. You can see there's a panel in the chest that lights up. It looks like the eyes light up blue. And it also looks like there's some dots, like four dots that look like they could be light up features underneath the sort of forehead area. It says motion sensor activated. There is a hint, at least, that there is some sort of a movement here. Someone has mentioned that perhaps it's servos in the neck so that the head tilts and moves. And it does say plays alien voices and phrases. So I don't know what that could mean. Alien voices, are we, I don't know. It, who knows what that could be? It could make or break this prop. I say this about an awful lot of props when it comes to their phrasings and what they are, are, have to say. It, if they get it right, you you're on to a winner get it wrong and choose something stupid i am a joker and i do mysterious tricks and i like to dance and yeah you've lost you've lost it it says it's for indoor outdoor use which to me speaks that it's waterproof which is a big big bonus particularly if this thing were to come to the uk because the fact that things are weatherproof it really does make a big difference to us here in the uk <laughs> fact that these things can at least withstand a little bit of bad weather. I don't know. I think this is really good. It's not probably something I would be racing out to buy because it is so completely vastly different from the rest of the things I have for my haunt and the kind of haunt I, I'm doing. An alien, a random 10 foot alien wouldn't make any sense anywhere within my haunt and I haven't got the space now to just be buying random things because I think they're kind of cool. But I do think this is kind of cool. I do think this has potential to be absolutely magnificent. I like pretty much everything about it. I like the look of this thing. I like the coloring of the skin. I like the silvery outfit it's wearing. I, don't, I think this is really, really cool. And the fact it's 10 foot, I, I've always said that aliens are one of those props that if you make them big, they can kind of make sense. You can have little squat, little big bulbous headed aliens. And then you can have slightly larger, taller, more ethereal looking aliens, which is what I would classify this as. I wouldn't say it's a terrifying, scary alien. It's got no sharpened teeth from what I can tell. It's a, an ethereal kind of almost friendly alien. But maybe those phrases will change that. I don't know. It's very, very cool. And it's starting, guys. I, I now live in hope that we're only days away from learning what's going to be coming to the UK this year. I, I don't know. It could be these things. It could be something completely different. Costco UK, Costco US often are different from one another, though they do tend to, sh to share a similar pattern. What is unusual is that most years, or the last few years anyway, it's been the UK that's learned what's coming out, out of Costco first, before everyone else, and then you later find out that some of these things are available in the US and Canada and Australia and wherever else. And this year, the UK Costco has been very silent. We've seen absolutely nothing. So we could get literally anything. We could get all of these things, plus some new other things and some other returning things. We might see nothing. Personally, I hope that this isn't it, both for the US and for the UK, because, I don't know, I, I was kind of, I love this alien, I think it's really good, but it isn't for me. And I'm, I'm waiting to see if something that really sparks my love and interest hits this year. I would love it too. But I don't know, it's starting to make me feel a bit anxious that maybe this is going to be the year where I don't find anything in Costco that I particularly want or like. But I hope that's not true. And this alien is cool, it's just not for me. That's all. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today. It's a really quick one. I just wanted to get it out there and let you know about this awesome 10 foot alien. And I want to know what you think about this awesome 10 foot alien. Is it awesome or do you think it's a bit meh? I don't know. You let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky, guys. Bye.